So the first point inshallah ta'ala of how important knowledge is Point number one The importance of knowledge is Knowledge brings about the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala The concept of khashya It comes with knowledge That's why Allah said in the Quran إِنَّمَا يَخْشَ اللَّهَ مِنْ عِبَادِهِ الْعُلَمَاء the, who are the people who fear Allah? They are who? The people of knowledge. The people of knowledge are the ones who have khashya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They fear Him. And actually this verse is actually a very profound verse. Because what it's saying is that the only people who truly fear Allah are the people of knowledge. Are we all together? So with knowing Allah, you have the concept of fearing. And we all know how important it is to fear Allah. Allah says in the Quran, in Nahum Kanu, you said, In Nahum Kanu, you said, Una fil Khayrati, Wayad Una na Ragaban, Warahaban, Wakanu Lena Khashain. In Nahum Kanu, you said, Una, Yani the Ambiya and the Prophets Allah was talking about. Allah mentions they used to hasten in good and they used to worship Allah with two things. What is it? Fear and hope. Are we all together? So fear is a what? It's a, it's a quality a Muslim should have. With knowledge, it comes about. That's point number one. But point number two, to show you the importance of knowledge, is that we have no verse in the Quran where Allah commanded the Messenger وسلم, to ask Allah to increase him other than knowledge. There is nothing in the Quran where Allah commands the Messenger وسلم, to ask Allah to increase him in other than Quran. Allah says, Say, Muhammad, my Lord, increase me in what? In knowledge. So then if this is to the Prophet then what about us? The Arabs, they say, The Prophet here is the one that's been addressed here, but he's not the one who is intended alone. Are we all together? It means all of us. So we all need to ask Allah to what? Increase us in beneficial knowledge. وَلِذَلِكَ the Messenger عليه الصلاة والسلام, based on this verse, he used to make the dua of saying, Allahumma inni asaluka ilman nafi'an. Oh Allah, I ask you beneficial knowledge. وَرِزْقًا طَيِّبًا Oh Allah, I ask you for good provision. وَعَمَلًا مُتَقَبَّلًا Oh Allah, I ask you for action that is accepted. وَلِذَلِكَ الْإِمَامْ حَافِظُ بْنُ رَجَبْ رَحِمَهُ اللَّهِ Because of this dua, he wrote an entire book called Fadlu ilm salafi ala ilm al-khalaf The salaf's knowledge being higher than the knowledge of the what? Those who came later He wrote a whole book just based on that dua And how they had more knowledge and better knowledge than we do The next point that shows the importance of knowledge And the knowledge here we're talking about is al-ilm al-shari The knowledge of the religion Is that Allah told the messenger alayhi salatu salam That this is a blessing I gave you Muhammad Allah is it's called imtinan. Allah is mentioning his virtue and his blessing onto the Prophet والسلام, when he said to him, وَأَنزَلَ عَلَيْكَ الْكِتَابَ وَالْحِكْمَةَ وَعَلَّمَكَ مَا لَمْ تَكُنْ تَعْلَمْ وَكَانَ فَضُلُ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكَ وَكَانَ فَضُلُ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكَ عَظِيمًا Allah here is saying, وَأَنزَلَ Allah sent down onto you the Qur'an and the Sunnah, He sent it down on you. And He, Allah, has bestowed great blessing onto you by giving you this knowledge. وَكَذَلِكَ أَوْحَيْنَا إِلَيْكَ رُوحًا مِنْ أَمْرِنَا مَا كُنْتَ تَدْرِي مَا الْكِتَابُ وَلَا الْإِيمَانُ وَلَكِنْ جَعَلْنَاهُ نُورًا نَهْدِي بِهِ مَنْ نَشَاءُ مِنْ عِبَادِنَا وَإِنَّكَ لَتَهْدِي إِلَى صِرَاطٍ مُسْتَقِيمٍ Allah gave the Prophet what? Knowledge. هُوَ الَّذِي بَعَثَ فِي الْأُمِّيِّينَ رَسُولًا مِنْهُمْ يَتْلُوْ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتِهِ وَيُزَكِّيهِمْ وَيُعَلِّمُهُمُ الْكِتَابَ وَالْحِكْمَةَ وَإِن كَانُوا مِنْ قَبْلُ لَفِي ضَلَالٍ مُبِينٍ In another verse Allah says لَقَدْ مَنَّ اللَّهُ عَلَى الْمُؤْمِنِينَ إِذْ بَعَثَ فِيهِمْ رَسُولًا مِنْهُمْ يَتْلُوْ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتِهِ وَيُزَكِّيهِمْ وَيُعَلِّمُهُمُ الْكِتَابَ وَالْحِكْمَةِ وَإِن كَانُوا مِنْ قَبْلُ لَفِي ضَلَالٍ مُبِينَ All of those verses, what did they show? That this knowledge was given to who? The Messenger alayhi salatu salam And it's a blessing from Allah that he gave it to him So if it's a blessing for the Prophet, it's also a blessing for who? For us Actually, we were We came out of the womb of our mothers ignorant As Allah says وَاللَّهُ أَخْرَجَكُم مِن بُطُونِ أُمَّهَاتِكُمْ أَنَذَا كَرَعَ إِمْنِهَاتِكُمْ Allah brought you out of the wombs of your mothers, what? لا تعلمون شيء You knew nothing when you were brought out of your mother's wombs, صح? In Surah Al-Hazab, the last page, Allah says إِنَّ عَرَضْنَا الْأَمَانَةَ عَلَى السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَالْجِبَالِ فَأَبَيْنَا يَحْمِلْنَهَا وَأَشْفَقَنَا مِنْهَا وَحَمَلَهَا الْإِنسَانِ إِنَّهُ 
the way we were when we first came out of our mother's womb is we have these two traits, which is ignorance and what? Oppression. And oppression. And that's the two that the Prophet ﷺ, with his message, he removed from us. Are we all together, brothers? So, knowledge is that, is that important. Also, from the weight of knowledge and how heavy it is, is the fact that the Messenger ﷺ, he mentioned that the people of knowledge are his inheritors. Now, the people of knowledge, who's, what do they have? Man salaka tariqan yaltamisu fi ilma sahala Allah bihi tariqan ila al-jannah. Anyone who takes a path seeking Islamic knowledge, Allah will, will give you what? A path to what? Jannah. Then the Prophet said, وَإِنَّ الْعَالِمْ The scholar, لَيَسْتَغْفِرُ لَهُ مَنْ فِي السَّمَوَاتِ وَمَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ حَتَّى الْحِيْتَانِ فِي جَوْفِ الْمَاءِ the creation of Allah which are in the sky, the creation which are even in the ocean and on the earth, ask Allah's forgiveness for who? The people of knowledge. Then the Prophet said, وَإِنَّ الْعُلَمَاءِ The scholars are وَرَثَةُ الْأَنْبِيَاءِ They inherit who? They, they inherit the Prophets. وَإِنَّ الْأَنْبِيَاءِ And the Prophets لَمْ يُوَرِّثُوا دِرْحَمًا وَلَا دِينَارًا وَإِنَّمَا وَرَّثُوا الْعِلْمِ فَمَنْ أَخَذَهُ أَخَذَ بِحَذٍ وَافِرٍ what they've given and they've left behind is not money, diamond and gold. What prophets have left behind is what? Knowledge. And anyone who has taken that has got a great portion. Are we all together brothers? And so being ignorant brothers is not a good quality. We all know that, right? Ali Abi Talib he said, Kafa bil-ilmi sharafan an yadda'ihi man la yuhsinu. Enough to show you how beautiful and how great knowledge is. The one who's ignorant, if you say to him, bro, this brother is a scholar, he will get happy. Sah? Is there anyone who's ever going to say to you, no, I don't want to be a person of knowledge? Huh? Everyone wants to claim knowledge, right? Regardless, even if it's in worldly matters, we all want to have knowledge, right? So enough to show you the weight and the importance of knowledge is that the one who doesn't have it will be happy if he's attributed to the people of knowledge. Huh? And enough to show you how low ignorance is and how pathetic and bad it is, the one who's ignorant, if you say ignorant to him, he gets upset. Are we all together, brothers? So what we have to understand is that knowledge is something very important. And the knowledge that we're talking about here is of course is Al-Ilm Al-Shara'i. Now that doesn't mean of course it's worldly knowledge, be ignorant about it. Of course, have that knowledge as well. But these Nusus, these texts, these evidences that we're going to bring is all referring to what? The virtue of, of Islamic knowledge. Understanding the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.